What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Windows 8 developer beta onto your Mac using Parallels 7. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Parallels, essentially it allows you to install Windows onto your Mac and run it virtually instead of having to reboot. You can run it side by side with your OS. 79 bucks to buy, 49 bucks to upgrade if you own a previous version, and you can download it actually for 14 days fully functional if you just wanna try Windows 8 out. So that link's gonna be down below. The next thing you gotta do is download the Windows 8 developer beta. So that link Link is also down below where I'm at right now. So you head over to here, download the Windows Developer Preview, go down and go to get started. Now I am not a developer, so I don't need this big file. What I'm gonna do is just download the OS. So that is the 64 bit, it's a 3.6 gigabyte file. So it is gonna take some time. So you might wanna download that, grab some coffee and come back to this video. Now, luckily I already have mine downloaded on the desktop. So we don't gotta wait for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Parallels Desktop like so. And it's going to give us a couple options. We can install Windows from DVD or image file, or we're going to migrate from a PC. So we wanted to click the uh, install Windows from DVD or image file. Once we select that, we're going to look for the file since obviously it's not a physical DVD. So we'll go ahead and go to choose image file. Wherever you downloaded it, it may be different. Mine's on the desktop. You might have yours in the downloads. And then we're going to select that. We're going to go ahead and go to continue. It's going to try and detect it, but since this is Windows 8, it's going to fail. So it's going to say automatic detection failed. Please select your operating system. So what we're going to do is select Windows 7. And once you get to the screen, we're going to make a couple tweaks right here. So we're going to uncheck. This version requires a product key because it doesn't. And this is the 64-bit version. Obviously, if you're doing 64-bit, check this. If you're not, don't check that. And then we're going to uncheck the express installation because I want to make a few tweaks. So we're going to go to continue. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna set it up like a Mac or like a PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose PC since we're doing Windows right here. Continue. And then I'm gonna title this Windows 8 instead of Windows 7. It's gonna ask you where you wanna install it. That's fine. It gets into your Parallels folder. So we're gonna to go to Continue. It's gonna create the virtual machine and right now it is installing Windows. So I'll go ahead and drag this into the uh, window so you guys can see it better. Now once you get onto this screen, we're gonna select Next. This is all fine, English, United States. Install now. Cue the Jeopardy music. Setup is starting. Then it's going to ask you to please read the license terms. And I'm going to be a super fast reader. And scroll down like super fast. Accept these terms, or I accept these terms, to be correct. And for this screen, this is where you want to pay attention. So we're going to go to Custom. And right here, by default, it's going to set up a 64 gigabyte partition. I don't want it to be that big. So what I'm going to do is go to Drive Options, Advanced, and then go to New, and then go go 20,000 we'll go 20,000 megabytes which is going to be 20 gigs apply okay and then it's going to give us that new partition right here so make sure that's selected we're going to go to next and now it's installing windows so depending on your drive how fast it is this could take anywhere from five to ten minutes maybe faster and we'll go ahead and jump into the next step in a second and through the magic of editing now we are all installed so it's going to need to restart to continue restarting in four three Two countdown is almost over one, and we are blast off. Windows 8, my computer is ruined. I'm just kidding. I'm really not narrow minded, so you guys gotta remember that. So, this is the Windows Developer Preview. Now it is loading up. There we go. So, all the preparation is done. Now we're gonna set it up. So, we're gonna go ahead and give your PC a name, except I'm on a Mac. And I know they're the same thing. Don't flip out in the comments. So, Jonathan, that's my name. Settings, we'll go to Express Settings. That's fine. I don't want to use my Windows Live email because I don't have one, nor do I want to sign up for one. So there we go. We're going to go to local account if you don't want to use your Windows Live ID. If you do have one, you can set it up that way. I choose to set it up this way. Jonathan.tld. Password. Wouldn't you like to know? Password is Batman. Is awesome. Finalizing your settings, and we should be just about ready to go. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Windows 8. How you doing? All right, now we are all set up and running. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is match the resolution to your screen. So what I'm gonna do, this is actually with help uh, from Jeru Kim on Twitter. Thanks to you, because I missed this yesterday installing it the first time. So we're gonna to go to uh, screen resolution. Now the resolution on my MacBook Air is 1440 by 900. By default, it's set to 800 by 600. And by uh, like kind of logic, I went up to here and I assumed 1440 by 900 wasn't here because I assumed 900 was lower than 1050, but it's actually above this. So there's my 1440 by 900 resolution. We're going to go hit OK and obviously match this to your recording computer, Mac. We're going to go ahead and keep these changes. 
and we are all ready to go. So we're gonna go back to the uh, main screen right here. One of the great things about Parallel 7 is the full screen mode. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now we are in Windows. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna post another video going over the features, kind of a demo on the MacBook Air to show you guys how it runs. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, shoot one down below or follow me on Twitter at TLD today and shoot me an at reply and I will get back to you. Other than that, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.